Hey there, my name is Trevor with AirData, and today I get to walk you through the process of uploading your flight logs with our Android mobile app. And before we get any further, I wanna make sure this video is right for you. So if you can do me a huge favor and pause this video, follow the on-screen link that you see here, and make sure that the flight app that you use is on the supported app list. If your app is on the supported list, then go ahead and proceed with watching this video. If your app wasn't on the list, please follow this on-screen link to find instructions that pertain to your particular situation. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. I'd like to point out that you can find written instructions for everything that we cover in this video by logging into your AirData account, going to My Logs, and Upload. Additionally, you can find further information on our other methods of uploading flight logs if this particular video does not pertain to you. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is download our Android mobile app as you can see here, I'm in the Play Store, but our AirData mobile app is also compatible with the Crystal Sky, the Smart Controller, and older Android devices that don't have the Play Store. If you have one of those, please follow this link, which is a direct download link for our app. We're gonna download the first app that you see on the list. HD Sync is one of our older apps that we're no longer recommending that people use. It still works fine, but it's not applicable for this video. Go ahead and install the app, and when you open it up, you're gonna be greeted with a couple of permission prompts. I would strongly suggest allowing these, as we can use your device's location when you're live streaming for the OK to Fly section of our app, and also this gives us permission to acquire your flight logs. The next step is to log into the app, and there's a couple of important points I wanna make here. The first is, whoever's logged into the app will be who the flights are assigned to when they're uploaded to AirData. So for instance, if Trevor uses this tablet, and he logs into the app with his credentials. He flies a few flights, he lands, and then Frederick flies with the same tablet, but he doesn't log into the app with his credentials. Any flights that he conducts will be assigned to Trevor. So it's very important to log out of the app when you're done flying if multiple pilots are using the same device. You'll also notice that you have the option to enable the Remember Me box, which will save you some time the next time you log into the app. Once you're logged into the app, tap on those three little lines in the top left hand corner. We have a couple options here. You can either hit sync now, which will synchronize all of the flights on this device to air data, or we can go to the settings, which I'll do. And in the settings menu, we have a few different options. As you can see, I have auto sync checked. I would suggest leaving that enabled. If you are concerned with using too much data, you can check the box that says only sync when connected to Wi-Fi. We can then choose the period that we would like to synchronize our flights from under days to sync. Under measurement unit system, check metric or imperial. We then have some flight sync stats. We have the last sync time, which was three minutes ago. Last sync flights, three flights, and total synced flights from this device is 75. We can hit sync now to synchronize any flights that haven't already been synced. And it's as simple as that. If this is your first time logging into the app and synchronizing your flights, it may take a few minutes to synchronize all of the flights on your device. So give it some time, you'll see a little counter there. Once it's through, all of your flights will have been uploaded to AirData. To confirm that, we can either go on over to the data section of the mobile app, which I'll do now, you can see that I have my flights in descending order, synchronized to AirData. Any flights that you see on this list indicate that they are synchronized with AirData. Another way to confirm that they're uploaded is to jump over to the desktop and come on over to My Logs, Flights, and you'll see the list here on the left-hand side will correspond with the list that you saw under the Data tab of the mobile app. And there you have it. That's how you upload your flight logs with our AirData Android mobile app. And I would like to point out that as long as you remain logged into the AirData mobile app and you have auto sync enabled, AirData will retrieve the flight logs in the background after you finish flying. So there's no need to jump into the app to sync with AirData. Again, I want to remind you that you can come on over to the upload section of our website for written instructions on everything that we covered in the video. Okay, thanks for watching.